Hey guys, Evan with Griffin. Thanks for tuning in for this episode of Tech Tips. Today I'm gonna to be showing you the difference between the three lug cam lock system or easy lock system and a traditional direct thread piston and what, what the real difference is in terms of the target rounds on target. The easy lock and cam lock system have that nice little taper on the leading profile on the front edge of the adapter. So they allow you to get a taper lock up. They're like a miniature rifle mount. Uh, QD mount in a way. Um, so super nice. You don't have to reach up and retighten the pistol silencer all the time. You get accurate groups and it's rigid. Uh, this setup is a Gen 4 Glock 34 with the new Griffin Armament micro sight on here, which is an acro footprint red dot. Um, super cool little sight. Look for that. That's coming soon. Um, and then this features our Resistance 9 silencer and, and with that cam lock adapter on there. So we're going to shoot this, then we're going to shoot the direct thread piston and show you guys the difference. Yeah, so it was broke loose a little bit. It wasn't tight to the barrel. It was probably about a half a thread off after it vibrated loose in that string and, and it's strung out to the right. And that's what you get with direct thread pistons. So if you're not reaching up there and checking the tightness of the silencer every five rounds, maybe you shoot five round, three to five rounds, maybe one, two, three, something like that. Reach up, you know, pull it back, reach up, give it a quick twist, push back out, shoot some more. You have to be constantly doing that little maneuver in order to make sure that a direct thread piston stays tight. And if you shoot it like you could an easy lock or cam lock piston, then essentially your group is going to open up and that's what the that's what the target essentially shows. And that's why we don't, but we still make these pistons, the direct thread pistons, but we don't actually uh, really recommend them for users because in our, you know, 15 years of tracking customer service history on silencers, especially pistol suppressors, there's a lot of issues with baffle strikes, end cap strikes, stuff like that because of all the vibrating that's going on. You know, the piston stroking out the Nielsen device, the spring, all that vibration is causing the silencer to break loose off of its 90 degree shoulder. There's no actual mechanical lock. Okay, so the cam lock group is on the left, uh, 15 rounds, relatively decent group. I mean, I'm not an amazing pistol shooter. We were at about 20 yards, but no tightening. You know, we don't recommend that you have to tighten every magazine with this. It's not bad to check every couple magazines with the easy lock or cam lock piston but it's not critical. Um, this is the direct thread piston. Kind of immediately after a few rounds, three to five rounds, I think the picture in picture video will show that. Um, the group started walking to the right. And at the end, when I went to break it loose, there was no breaking it loose. It was already loose about a half turn. I, 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 just, and I was just able to do that. And I don't think, you know, I, I'm looking at the end cap here. I don't think there's any end cap strikes on it, um, but I would not have been surprised if there were. You know, you definitely want to retighten your direct thread cans and check tighten them every few rounds. Otherwise, you'll get wandering groups. And eventually, if you know, the more you shoot it, if I kept shooting this, it'd keep walking until we did get an end cap strike and baffle strikes. Whereas with the easy lock or cam lock taper locking piston, you essentially wouldn't have that problem. I have run the, the uh, cam lock 300 rounds uh, uh, without retightening the device, uh, the, the silencer, and that's pretty remarkable. Yeah, just you want your pistol silencers to stay where you want them to stay, which is on the pistol, and these products help you do that. You know, you have to remember that the direct thread piston is a technology from 100 years ago, basically, because it's a 90 degree shoulder. It's nothing special. Um, and the easy lock and cam lock systems have confronted that and solved it. Um, so definitely check them out. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Tech Tips, and we'll catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.